Hey Great Dramas, Greg from Great Drams here. Hope you're doing well. Um, today we're having a little look at our new single car, single malt Isla release. Um, we have to say it's distilled at An Isla Distillery because <laughs> wouldn't let us say um, which distillery it was produced at. Part of the agreement to buy the cask, unfortunately. Uh, not our decision, but one of those things. I'm sure in time, We'll all be fine with that. Distilled in October 2013 and bottled January 2021. Uh, distilled at one of the ancient uh, Isla distilleries um, with stunning views out into the sea. Um, a gorgeous vista actually from the pier, looking back at all the casks and the distillery with a gorgeous white wall with their name on it, which we can't tell you. Um, but the island itself holds uh, a very special place in uh, mine and, and Kirsty's hearts actually because it was one of the places that one of the very first places Kirsty surprised me with a holiday to uh, for my birthday uh, she surprised me with a week there I believe it was or maybe it was a weekend that we extended into a week can't remember we stayed we felt like we were there for a while um hope we didn't outstay our welcome but hey ho um and uh it was the most bonkers week it was incredible we hired a cabbie for like the whole week <clears throat> stayed at the Bally Grant Inn which is absolutely incredible, not too far from the, this distillery actually. Um, and uh, the guys there uh, were just wicked. David and Ewan, um, no wonder they win um, a Whiskey Bar of the Year, year in, year out. It is just fantastic, I love it there. Um, and then, uh, yeah, then we did the Laphroaig Water Watered to Whiskey Tour. I'm actually looking that way because that's where my Laphroaig bottles are with the bottle that we got to draw from the cask to fill in. Uh, uh, into our 20 CL to bring home. We then did Ardbeg for a day at lunch, obviously. Um, then, what else did we do? Um, oh yeah, all of them and everything uh, from Bamore through to Kilhoman, through to Kalela, and then finally at Bunnahaven, um, which was, you know, fantastic. Really, really good fun. Um, so when we had the opportunity to buy an Isla cask, which is bloody expensive, by the way, um, there, it's why we haven't been able to do it to date, but with some some kind of thinking and investment into the business and whatnot, we thought, you know what, we need to do this. Um, we bought the cask and we've had it bottled. And uh, this is bottled at seven years old, only 243 bottles ever produced, exclusively available from greatdrams.com. Um, and it's been matured in a first fill bourbon cask as well. Um, so this for us is a real statement piece because we love Isla. We've always wanted to have an Isla in the range. People are always asking us for an Isla in the range. And we've resisted because, you know, Isla is quite a niche flavour profile. Like the heavily peated stuff is quite niche uh, for most people. But we're at a point where niche is fine because we've got such a broad range now that if a lot of people don't want an Isla, don't worry about it. We don't need to talk about that. We'll talk about the other stuff. If a lot of people want the Isla, let me show you something really special. Bosh, here it is. So that's where we're at. Wanna know about the whiskey? I think so, yeah, sure. Okay, fine, cool. Big, big smoky peaty notes, as you'd expect from a heavily peated Isla cast. Um, I said this is a single cast, single malt, so bottled just from that one barrel of whiskey. It's got a nice fruity smoky and peaty note, by the way. A slight kind of rubbery note there as well. Um, I always have a campfirey note coming through. Oh man. Now we're not allowed to have favourites. It's a company policy that we shouldn't have favourites of our releases, but without doubt, this is Kirsty's favourite release we have ever, ever done. Um, I know that because the sample bottle fill level is going down at quite a remarkable rate. <laughs> so um, that's normally a surprisingly good sign that we're onto something. Um, mm. And the palate, heavily peated, but easy drinking, approachable, Flavour profile wise, right, it's got those lovely ember notes, that lovely campfirey, smoky, peaty, slight fruitiness, nice vanillary note going on as well. 
decent level of oak char and oak kind of juiciness to it as well and it lingers actually a medium to a medium long uh, finish to it um oh again as i say in all of these when we review our own stuff i know that i'm massively biased but that is decent and um, beyond decent if anything i actually love it <laughs> uh, a really good whiskey like i said only 243 bottles ever produced 48.2 abv get involved greatdrams.com or join us on one of our virtual tastings where it may be included depending on when you're watching this um if uh if it's still in stock it will be included if not then uh, we'll be on to something else but you never know cheers until next time